Hi, my name is Zai, and this is my first 10 keyless compact mechanical board. It's the Cooler Master Master Keys Pro S. Basically, it doesn't have the number pad, but it does have a function key for the extra functions. It also has RGB lights, and it uses Cherry MX switches. These are the Cherry Reds, no tactile bump, with a low actuation force, and they're quiet. I've been using this board for typing, as well as video editing, and I have to say, I love it. It's well built, no gimmicks on the design, just a basic rectangle with a matte finish, so no fingerprints. The dimensions are 35.5 by 13.5 centimeters, about 4 centimeters high with the stands down, and about 2.8 just flat on the desk. And 2.8 centimeters is also the key height at the front, and it's about 3.8 at the back. I haven't put any O-rings on these, but here's a quick typing test so you can get an idea of what the board acoustics are like, and also the Cherry MX rods. It's also available with Cherry MX Brown, which is the same as red but with a tactile bump, and also Cherry MX Blue, which has a tactile bump and a click. It's not an open board design, but they provide a keycap puller, so you can remove them and clean it. The board has anti-ghosting, so you can hold down as many keys as you want. The keycaps also have a matte finish, and personally, they feel great to type on. I can't make the board flex, so it feels solid. They include a cover, good for keeping the dust out, and the cable is a nice smooth braid, which is detachable. As it uses a standard small USB connection, you can most likely use other USB cables too, if the 1.5 meter braided cable is too short. No USB ports or headphone jacks, and no wrist rust. This is just a board. Comfort wise, the design is basic, so it's nothing special, but nothing bad either. For the function key, you can alter the light send mode, the repeat rate, lock, LED, set macro, and you have media controls over on the side here, which is great to have, of course. I won't go into the details of how to do everything, Cooler Master made a great video showing that. I'll link it in the description for you. The software is fairly basic, but it gives the light modes of static, color wave, cross mode, single key, customize, star effect, raindrop, color cycle, ripple, multi-layer, system status, and you can even play snake, which is cool, but not exactly something I can see people using at all. It's just a fun gimmick. I would have liked a bit more customization for the lights, like creating our own gradients for the color wave, but other than that, it's pretty good. And lastly, we have the profiles tab, and the profiles are stored with the onboard memory. So in conclusion, it's a great board, and even though they're Cherry MX Red, meaning I would have thought they'd feel the same, they actually feel smoother than the other Cherry Reds that I've used. I can't tell you why that is, but I love typing on this. If you want a high quality, solid 10 keyless board, definitely add this to your consideration list. Hope that helps. If you want to support the channel, you can buy these using the Amazon links in the description, or head to Mwave if you're from Australia. Special thanks to Cooler Master for sending this out for review. Subscribe for more reviews and gaming videos, like this one, and I'll catch you in the next.